Good evening and welcome to Team Idris channel and Lathe Vlog 4. So, a bit of fabrication has been going on and an awful lot of cleaning. So, this sort of disgusting gunky almost like cement, horrible, yeah, black stuff is what I'm scraping off. And it's starting to get clean and the mechanics continue. So, this part here is the cross slide and it lives on the saddle. So we can see here it's quite rough at the edge where dirt's got into it and it's, it's acted a bit like a horrible sort of key job on your car really it's just but it's not massively deep and here it's quite flat um, here it's caused a bit of damage to it but it's going to be okay. The other part we had is that there's this long tapered sword looking thing which is designed to take up the slack the further you push it in the tighter things get the snag is that it rode up on the screw at this end and broke the end off so okay that's kind of stuff there so what i've done is i'll make a little tab that goes on the end here so the screw won't go too far in the screw will sit on here and the screw will push it in and a little plate will go on the end so that the screw adjusts but holds this tapered sword in place. It's a, it's a slack adjuster. The other part that's been going on, if I can get down the back here, that bearing housing is now in backwards but that's because the end of the ball screw nut which has now been rotated fits all the way up into there. So why was I going to go mad and try and get as much travel as I could? Let's have a quick look here. Well, the reason is down this hole here is where I would have liked to shave some metal off for it to run in, but I can't because directly below that is the sort of V-shaped part of the prismatic bed. This is absolutely key, the whole lathe function re revolves around this uh, this raised part here. That's one on the other side and that's just for the tailstock to run up and down but this running surface here and this running surface here with the seals on it that's the critical bit and there's no way I'm going anywhere near that with the grinder. So the new bracket that I was making yesterday connects to the ball screw nut and this edge here touches this face here before the nut catches on this end of piece of metal here so because I was losing motion here or movement I've tried to get as much movement as I could at this end so I don't know maybe it moves an inch less than it did but the advantages far outweigh the disadvantage on this one so now we've got a ball screw that's an absolutely modern cheap but modern version of the thread that was in there and this threaded hole here lines up with the, the hole here so the next job is to get this cross slide on there and put a bit of a bolt through pull this bracket up to it and then very carefully drill these two holes which are going to come out into this part here and here then that's in there tight then I think that's pretty much ready to go back together. Now one of the snags is with these is that it was possible at one time to get a left hand thread and uh, it's listed but you can't get it anymore so rather than buying a professional lead screw I've come up with a different solution so the problem was that you're supposed to be this will give you more feed and cutting and then that will move the tool away from the job but it's working backwards because it's the wrong way thread so Good old eBay again, we have this 90 degree gearbox which actually feels really good. So this handle's coming off, that's going on there and that will turn the drive so that when the handle's mounted on the shaft that I'm holding on to that will make everything go the right way. So yeah, we're getting there, it's nearly done which is good because I didn't even know this job wanted doing when I bought it so I'll be glad to see the back of it. But I think it'll be a much better lathe for it and uh, I think that lead screw was bent late 80s, so I don't know the old one because 
Oh, I've got a funny feeling we tried to tighten it all up and it wouldn't turn so yeah I think that's been bad for a very long time so yeah much improved very pleased with it so far it's just been a right hell of a job to try and invent it all anyway thanks for watching